Hello, and welcome to another edition of Spotlighting Paradise. I'm your host, Henry White. We are Talking Biz, and my guest today is local entrepreneur, Danielle Perry, who has recently launched uh, the Eagle Vision Nutrition. So um, we're going to welcome you to the show, Danielle. Thanks for having me, Henry. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good. Uh, so we're going to, we got a lot to talk about and you got some, brought some goodies with us that we'll get into. But uh, first, let me just ask you, what is Eagle Vision Nutrition? Eagle Vision Nutrition is my private nutrition practice. I, um, I do not have an office per se. I go to people's homes. I mm -hmm. meet in coffee shops and I provide nutrition counseling for individuals, for families. Um, I talk a lot about um, how to maintain a healthy lifestyle rather than the diet approach. Right, um, okay. Because diet approaches are not the way to go. They're, they're not sustainable. They don't last. Um, right. People never adhere to a strict plan that you right. know, leaves you feeling unsatiated. So for me, it's all about a lifestyle. Wow. Um, and so I also offer exercise um, plans, um, individual exercise plans, and um, yeah, a variety of different things. A, a variety of different yes. things, exactly. And talking about uh, lifestyles, and, and it, we'll talk about some of the other services, or I'm going to ask you a little more about um, the services that you do provide. Sure. But before we get into that stuff, mm -hmm. I just wanted to talk um, and, and get the folks out there a little bit more about um, who you are. And um, you have an interesting story, your journey. I, I, you're originally from Connecticut. I grew up in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Yep, Central Connecticut. Central Connecticut. Down and the then road we from share, you. well, I, I'm originally from Connecticut as well, That's from right. New Haven. New Haven, yep. yeah. Where a lot of my family's from as well. I have a big Italian family in Connecticut. Wow, yep. okay. Yep. So, yeah, I grew up in Connecticut, mm -hmm. and um, I grew up in a family um, where there's a lot of obesity. Obesity wow. definitely runs in my family, and I think from a young age, I knew that I wanted to have a healthy lifestyle. Right. And so I think that uh, having that history has made me who I am today. Right. Um, I went to college um, at the University of Rhode Island. Right. So you have a, an undergraduate in, in, is it in exercise? Exercise science. Yeah. Okay. That's right. That's right. I studied exercise science at the University of Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. And then I worked as a personal trainer um, at a health club, a smaller health club in Greenwich for a while, which since then has been bought out by New York Sports Club. Really? And I had a great couple of years there. It, um, you mean the Greenwich, Connecticut? The Greenwich, like the Connecticut. Wealthy the yes. uh, yeah. town in the country, I believe it is. I did. I, I, yeah, pretty much. And the right. reason I moved there is because I knew that I could do well during personal training there, that a lot of people could afford those types of services. And so, um, so yeah, after, soon after college, I moved down there. I was living in Cape Cod uh, before then. I moved down there, and I got a job at this it was called AmFit at the time and worked as a personal trainer for a couple of years. There were different celebrities that would come in and out of some different newscasters from NBC right. that um, worked out at the gym. And um, I had some great clients and great experience. Oh, I, I can imagine. I did well. I not only worked in the health club, but then I started my own practice in which I'd go to people's homes and train them. And, you know, as a 24-year-old, yeah. I, I think my first year, or no, maybe my second year there, I made 50 or 60,000, and this is 15, 16 years wow. ago. Wow. So, so, yeah, it was a really great thing for me to right. do, being so young. and Right. Um, so and the spirit of entrepreneurship has been in your blood, as well as the spirit of just staying healthy and, and fit and exercising and all that stuff. Yeah, I think Now, so. talk about um, growing up, because, I mean, mm -hmm. looking at you, you are like a... a, a you're so fit. I mean, I know you and, you know, around town and you do a lot of physical activity stuff from I'm yoga, I believe, and yep. uh, dance, African dance. Yep. And yep. Um, I'm, I'm sure that as a, so as a young girl, mm -hmm. were you like real active or, uh, you know, I grew up as hiking. A <laughs> I, I have my children grow up hiking now. Unfortunately, I wasn't exposed to that until until later. But um, I grew up dancing. I was a dancer, and um, and I was never really into sports. But I grew up dancing and loved it, and um, and danced even through college. And then I still I still dance today. Right. So I, I think you know, once a dancer, always a dancer. 
Absolutely. Um, but yeah, so as I was saying before, I was living in Greenwich and I just started thinking I want to go to grad school. And I was looking at, you know, I looked around, I remember like intentionally looking around my room one day and said, what am I interested in? And right. I start looking at, you know, all the books that are lying around the floor of my bedroom and they were all about nutrition. Wow. And so I said, well, I think that's my answer. That's what I need to go back that's to school for. That's what you want to do. Yeah, and exactly. that's what brought me up to this area. I went to UMass Amherst and um, they had a great program there in which you, if you get into the program, it covers your tuition and um, and I received a stipend because I was a research assistant. Wow. And um, yeah, so it was a great, it was definitely a great situation. Absolutely. Yeah. So I now, earned my master's in you, nutrition. So you got, okay, so you had the master's in nutrition yeah. there. Now you mentioned your 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 daughters because it sounds to me, and I know you have two daughters. Two daughters. And uh, Jackie and Gabby. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I met them. Very, very yeah. beautiful. Ja right. Actually, Jackie's here now. Jackie's here. We'll give a shout out to Jackie. <laughs> so um, now, you you've been a stay at home mom, and yes. so yes. what was that like? I mean, because you've done that for I don't know how many years now. Yeah. Gabby's almost thirteen. Wow. So what happened was. Um, I met their dad in grad school and mm -hmm. we got married and pregnant very while we were in grad school and so um, so I actually defended my thesis when my oldest daughter Gabby was a little over a year old mm. um, and then I really wanted to stay home with her we had this amazing connection and I just um, I couldn't see going and leaving her so um, Mm. You know, we made lots of sacrifices and I stayed home with her and then the connection just kept growing and growing and we decided to homeschool and then Jackie was born and we decided to homeschool. Right. And so I've spent the past, you know, 13 years home with my kids and then two years before that uh, being in grad school. So I haven't been in the workforce until the past year or so. Right. Um, since way back when. Wow. That yeah. is very interesting. Yeah. And so, I mean, you do pick up a lot of natural uh, skill sets being mm -hmm. a stay-at-home mom and life uh, skills. Life skills, absolutely. <laughs> and um, I'm sure they enhance and help you in, in what you're doing today. But yeah. I guess I was going to ask you, like, what inspired you after 13 to 15 years of being out of the workforce? Mm -hmm to um, not only get back into the workforce, but yeah. to relaunch your own um, small business. So basic. And this Ego Vision Nutrition. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, so last year, my oldest daughter decided she wanted to go to school for the first year. And um, it was really shocking. I didn't think my daughter would ever want to go to school. And so with her going to school, it's sort of freed up, even though I'm still homeschooling Jackie, it freed up a little bit of mental space. Mm. And so, um, you know, money's always an issue with families, right? Especially Absolutely. we've been a one income Especially family. Especially in today's economy. Yes, and we've been a one income family for a long time. And so having more mental space and having more energy, I decided, let's just go for it. You know, I, I can, you know, so I made my website by myself with a couple of friends' help. Um, and I made my brochures also with another wow. very good friend's That's help. A very nice brochure, by and, the way. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And I've done, I've done some, um, some classes in the area. I do a baby's first foods class. Mm -hmm. at, it used to be called Cradle, and now it's called Grow in Northampton and okay. um, in Thorns Marketplace upstairs. And I am currently organizing some classes for the community, some um, kind of like eating well, living well classes in which I'll have like a 12 week long program that people can join and we'll meet on a weekly basis. Um, I'm also in the middle of organizing a, um, a class for postnatal for, oh, um, wow. for moms to for get moms. back into shape. That's what I was gonna ask you. I mean, you, you, I, would, I would imagine that a lot of your focus would be with moms because because of my life experience. Because of your life experience, yeah. absolutely. Sure, sure. Yeah. And, um, and I was a Leche League leader for years, so I'm big into um, breastfeeding and nutrition with breastfeeding. And, um, and so, yeah, so I was thinking I'd incorporate some good um, you know, weight loss strategies, healthy eating strategies, the right nutrition you want to eat while you're nursing your baby, and then also um, 
you know, incorporate exercise. Right, exactly. And, and exercise with the baby. So, wow, you're doing a lot, and you're offering a lot, a lot of different services, dear Danielle. And you have some other services that I, um, I think I saw on your, uh, when I was looking at your website, mm -hmm. which um, really caught my eye, you know. <laughs> I wish I had someone, um, you know, it looks like you, you do some grocery shopping. Um, tell, just talk a little bit about that. Like, you, what's sure. that about? So I offer a grocery shop tour or mm -hmm. grocery shop consultation in which I bring individuals, families, or groups. If you want to organize a group, mm -hmm. I'm willing to do that. And I bring you, I prefer to bring people to local places like River Valley Market. Um, <clears throat> and mm -hmm. I show people the healthy way to grocery shop. You know, right. I'm sure a lot of us have heard how you want to go into grocery shop around the perimeter of a store. Right. And you want to like only go into the middle aisles for, you know, very few items. And right. Stay away from the processed things. Right. Um, buy. And don't um, shop while you're hungry. Don't shop while you're hungry. That's right. <laughs> <Is> that, right. <laughs> that's, that's what I was always told. Yeah, that's definitely good Not like advice. I adhere to it, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. So yeah, mm -hmm. so that's, that's kind of a, a fun thing that I enjoy doing. Um, and then I also, sometimes you end up buying things at the grocery store that might be new to you and you don't really know what to do with them. Right. So then I offer a food prep class at your home. Again, you could do that individually with your family. I think it's great to incorporate families and children into cooking because you, you're never too young to learn how to cook. I think it's a life skill that many of us don't learn until until it's too late. Like let's develop healthy habits Absolutely. early on in life. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, so I'll bring those groceries home with you and I'll teach you what to do with them. You know, if you've never cooked cooked beans before, um, at, when you know, instead if you've never bought them in bulk and cooked them, um, I'll teach you how to do that, or I'll teach you, you know, which. Um, which grains and which beans you might want to soak first to be able to wow. get out the phytic acid that's in them so that you absorb the minerals that are in them better. Uh, the phytic acid binds to the minerals um, if we don't soak our beans and nuts and seeds and grains um, and then we are not absorbing as many minerals as we should be. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, so, I mean, wow, now you're talking, now you're really getting into it. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> I think we'll move on to to this the an exciting segment of this for me is that you bought some goodies. I did bring some goodies. <laughs> Are you feeling hungry? Honey? I am. <laughs> and um, one of the things, and you know, I, I do want you to kind of talk about some of the stuff you bought, but sure. you're also you also do a um, specialty. I, I I guess I'm mm. calling it your specialty mm. of this green smoothie yes. that. Um, I'm I'm excited about them. Um, you, you've tried them before. I've actually you? had I one think, of your I smoothies. Think I you did. You that's right. That's time, right. Yeah. Absolutely. So why don't you talk a little bit about what you sure you bought here? So um, so green smoothies are something that I've enjoyed making for close to five years now. Um, a Vitamix, something that I wanted to buy for a long time, but they're expensive. They they retail for about four hundred dollars. So it was wow. it was you know. It was definitely a, a big purchase, a big investment, right. but well worth it. Um, mm -hmm. I lived in Hawaii for a little while, and I would come back here to visit, and I brought my Vitamix, and people laughed at me. I brought it <laughs> camping, and, and now I have another friend who brings hers camping right. as well. So I don't bring mine camping anymore. I just use hers when mm -hmm. I'm there. But um, yeah, it's, it's a great investment for health. They last for, you know, I have some friends who've had them over 10 years. My one of my speed buttons broke, and I sent it back, and they repl they didn't replace it. They fixed it for me for free. They've got a warranty for I think ten years, so it's well it's well worth the investment. So it's a good investment. Um, yeah, and, and so um, I try to start my day off every day mm -hmm. with eating a green smoothie, and I. Um, so um, the reason why a green smoothie? Let me let me talk about that first. Absolutely. Um, so. We all know we need a lot of greens in our diet, and even the government does not recommend enough. I've been teaching this class at Holyoke Community College, mm -hmm. and going over like the um, the government recommendations has been shocking to me because it's been it's been a while since I've really looked at the government recommendations. Right. Um, being out of the workforce and all for so long, but um, they only recommend a cup and a half of greens a week. Wow. And to me, that's really sad. I said, "Don't you mean at every meal a cup wow. and a half of greens?" Um, even even my kids who you know they're kids they eat about 
one and a half to two cups of greens a day. Like I think, I think for optimal health we need to. We don't eat enough greens in our diet. Mm. And so this is a great way to not only get greens into your diet, but the Vitamix pulverizes the greens um, so much and breaks up the cell walls to be able to release all the nutrients that are available in them. Right. And as we have um, evolved as humans, our teeth have changed and we don't have the ability to do that as well as we used to mm. because of the, um, you know, the decades and the, you know, um, m much time has passed in which we've um, had more of a processed food diet and so our mouths have changed. Right. Um, and so the Vitamix does a lot of that work for us. Wow. We would really literally have to chew our greens to a creamy consistency mm. and that would take a long that time. That would take a long time. So the, so the Vitamix does all that work for us and okay. it makes it all available so that when it hits our small intestines the absorption is very easily done. Nice. Yeah. So show us how. Shall we make some? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. So I, I start my um, smoothie off with some liquid because it, then it makes it easier to blend. Mm -hmm. And today I brought some hemp milk. Okay, hemp so milk. So hemp milk right. is, um, is a good vegetarian source of omega-3 fatty acids, mm -hmm. which we do not get enough of in our diet. The general um, standard American diet has plenty of omega-3 fatty acids, but we, I'm sorry, omega-6 fatty acids, but we are lacking in our omega-3 fatty acids. And so we want to have a good balance between them. Mm -hmm. um, and they're very good for maintaining, um, keeping things non, not inflamed in our body. Right. And what happens is once there's inflammation in our body, disease comes, whether it's heart disease, whether it's cancer, um, whether it's arthritis, mm -hmm. inflammation means disease. And so omega-3 fatty acids really help keep the inflammation down. Great. So I, I usually, um, alternate different greens. Today I brought some some organic Swiss chard. Okay. And I do break the stems off, you don't have to. But sometimes I use kale. Mm -hmm. And then I also brought um, a little bit of collard greens. Oh, okay. I love collard greens. Um, yeah, collard <laughs> greens are good. You like to saute them? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. My mother makes them really good. Does she? Oh, yeah. oh lovely. So, um, so yeah, so I started off with the greens and then I'll put a carrot in as well. Mm -hmm. I like to blend these first just to get it going because sometimes if I put the, um, the fruit in, it gets too, uh, too thick, too mm -hmm. soon. Okay, so. What I did fail to do, Henry, I failed to bring my little, uh, the thing that sort of pushes everything down. Right. So hopefully this won't give me too much trouble. I just have a mixture of uh, some frozen fruit. I've got pineapple and raspberries and blueberries. Wow. And of course, our growing season is beginning. So, you know, preferably if you can use local produce, that would be Absolutely. excellent. Absolutely. You know, there's lots of CSAs in the area and they all, all have a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. 
And the last thing I like to add is some coconut oil. Coconut oil, nice. Now, what is the benefit of coconut oil? Coconut so, oil. coconut oil has lots of benefits. Um, if you're using it for cooking, the best benefit, or the, its biggest benefit, I should say, is that it um, has a high heat tolerance. Mm -hmm. We use lots of oils cooking that do not have high heat tolerances, and what happens is um, the oil gets oxidized. Okay. And so oxidation is not very good for our bodies because um, it can lead to, again, more diseases, especially mm. cancer. Um, so having the blueberries in here gives us some antioxidants, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, so the be one of the best benefits of this is cooking is it's high heat tolerance. Um, I believe it can go you know, up to like 350, 400 degrees. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's got a high heat tolerance. And then also, it has um, great fats in it, such as lauric acid. And lauric acid is um, a fat that's found in breast milk. Oh, okay. And uh, so this is the only food form that you will find lauric acid in. Wow. Oh. Um, and obviously, as we know, breast milk is a great food. And so... Um, even for adults? Even for adults, <laughs> if you dare try. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so the fat that's in there is very, very good for and us. And I noticed you just put like a teaspoon of that. Yeah, you don't I usually... Have to do a lot. Well, yeah, when I make about a quart size, I, I usually do, I try to put it in two tablespoons. Great. So, so solid, it's solid at, um, you know, below like 75 degrees. Nice. It's, or yeah, solid. So, all right, Good. so we're I almost can't ready wait. to try. I can't wait. <laughs> to be the guinea pig? Absolutely. I hope it's a yep, good one. Here we go. And this is Danielle's Eagle Nutrition <laughs> <laughs> the Eagle signature Vision. smoothie, green smoothie. That's right. How is it, Henry? Not too green? Ah. Oh. Delicious. Do you like Not it? too green. Okay. Uh, just right. Good. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I can taste the hemp mm. milk. So yeah, so there's, you know, many different recipes that you could follow with the <sighs> green smoothie. Um, that's good. This is sort of my standard. Right. But, that's, um, mm -hmm. There's so many different possibilities of right. different combinations of foods and, um, yeah. So yeah. it's, it's sort of fun to play around with. It is. And th thank you so much for, for doing that. And I, I know I've coming. stopped you on the street a couple of times and said, hey, hey yo, what about that green smoothie? <laughs> you never yeah. gave me the uh, the recipe, the but, recipe. I, know. Yes, I, but I, uh, I appreciate you stopping by and, yeah. and, and hooking us up with that. Sure. Um, we're about to wrap up, but a couple of, I just want to, because there's so many... I mean, we can have this conversation about health and healthy food and, mm -hmm. and, and living good, but there's a lot of myths yeah. about just foods in general. Yep. So if you can just dispel a couple of them, sure. you know, like um, about fatty foods. I think you talked about a little bit about yeah. that earlier. Yeah. So I, th I think really, um, and this is, this is a result of the 80s, is everyone thinking, 80s and, and, and a lot of the 90s as well, that we need to eat low fat. That mm. fat makes us fat. Right. There couldn't be anything further from the truth. Really? So say, for example, coconut oil. Coconut oil is, is a saturated fat, mm -hmm. um, but it's a saturated fat that is burned so efficiently by our body. Our body actually prefers to burn fats such as coconut oil. Um, and it'll be one of the first um, substrates that's used for energy. And, right. and so, you know, carbohydrates are burnt, are burned well also, but um, we actually would prefer, our bodies prefer to burn a fat such as this than a carbohydrate. Wow, okay. um, And with the carbohydrates, what happens, especially the processed carbohydrates, is the insulin response. And there's more and more research being done now that the, um, the high insulin response is more responsible for disease than fat is. Wow. And I, I truly think, and I told my students this past semester, I feel like in about 10 or 15 years, the government will finally come around and start 
making different recommendations based on the fact that it's okay to eat a lot of fat in your right. diet. It's going to change. It it's is. going to change, and they're going to be, you know, they're starting slowly but surely to say, all right, don't eat so many processed foods, don't eat so many processed grains, but, um, you know, they're still showing huge loaves of be bread in, right. in, in different exactly. diagrams. So, yeah. so I would say that's the biggest one for me. Wow. Henry, is fat does not make you fat. Don't be afraid to eat it. There's lots of good fats out there. It satiates us. It makes us, you know, like for when my children are hungry in the mm -hmm. morning, if they're eating, you know, bread or their pancakes or cereal, I see in about 45 minutes they're hungry again. Absolutely. And so yeah, you can yeah. ask her, what do I say? Eat some protein. Eat, Eat some, some protein. Fat. Absolutely. And, and that's another thing is I think we focus a little too much on protein instead of fat. I think we need to include more fat in our diet. I think most of us generally get enough protein. Right. That's interesting. So looking, looking at fats, avocados, and here I brought some other things to snack on, some nut mix that I make. Nice. Um, these are chia seeds, these are hemp seeds, um, wow. lots, lots of good fat. You bought a lot of good stuff here. <laughs> and um, thank you. Yeah, I mean, thanks, thanks for, for coming me. by and um, for bringing the goodies. Thanks for, for sure. sharing um, more about you. And, um, you know, I would encourage folks to go to the Eagle Nutrition. Eagle Vision Nutrition. EagleVisionNutrition.com is the website. You are an inspiration, not only to folks in general, but I, I would imagine to, to moms. Um, moms in general, stay-at-home moms. Uh, I mean, you did what you did, and then you, now you're back into the workforce, and you're doing your thing. Thanks, so um, I appreciate it. Um, I always appreciate seeing you. I see you around town. It's great. So thanks again, and I think I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to wrap up with... Um, just thanking the NCTV staff here for um, helping us out here with the show. We can't do this show without them. And our interns. We have a new intern, Annie, today. So thank you, Annie. And um, I, again, I gave you the website, EagleVisionNutrition.com. If you have any show comments for me, um, it's SpotlightingParadise at gmail.com. Or you can send your comments to NorthamptonTV.org. I'm going to leave you with an Irish proverb. A good laugh and a long sleep are the best cures in the doctor's book. Until next time on Spotlighting Paradise, peace and blessings, and keep the faith. Mm -hmm.